Okay, we're going to cover how to delete in the case where the node that we're deleting has two children. Uh, first, we have to talk about the successor and predecessor because uh, this is going to be an important thing uh, that we're going to find uh, and write a method for. The successor in a tree, if you talk about any particular node like node 5, is the next greatest node uh, or the next greatest key in the tree. So if you imagine all the nodes in the tree are in order and we're looking at node 5, the next greater one is 7. If you're looking at node 11, the next greater one is 16 and so on. So the, the successor for 5 we said is 7. So the way you find that, if you have a node with two children, uh, the successor is going to be greater than 5, so it's going to be in this subtree. This whole subtree is greater than 5. Uh, it won't be up here uh, if there's the subtree down here, because this whole subtree, in, which is greater than 5, because it's underneath 5 as a subtree, it's less than 17. So this whole subtree are values between 5 and 17. So what we do is we go to the first right child of 5, which is greater, and that could be the successor. But if it has a left child, that left child is less than this node, so this couldn't be the successor. We have to follow this down. So while we're following down the left child, we keep going smaller values. So as we follow down the left child, as far as we go, this will be the smallest value when there's no left children uh, underneath the right subtree of 5, which is going to be the successor. So that's basically how we're going to find the successor in our case. Uh, when we're deleting a, a node with two children, we go to the right node, and if it has any left, we keep following the left until we can't go any further, and that's going to be the successor. Now, in general, you can write a general case for finding the successor for any node, uh, and this is more complicated, because look at the successor for 17. It has no parent, so you have to use a different algorithm than what we're just describing. And if you're looking at the uh, node of belief, you have to use a different algorithm. Uh, so what we're going to see in the book code, he's implemented the general case for finding a successor. Now the predecessor is another type of thing you can find in a tree, just to mention it. The predecessor is the next node less than the node you're at. So the predecessor of 29 would be 17 up here. And the predecessor of 16 would be 11. And so there's the concept of the, the previous value in the tree. So remember that algorithm. We, we find our node we want to delete. We're, we want to find the successor. So we look at to the right for the, for the subtree that's greater and then we check all the nodes going down this left slope here until there's no more left and that's going to be the successor. So what do we do with the successor? Uh, so let's look at this example. Let's delete 5. And the thing about the successor, because there's no node between it and 5, uh, if we replace the 7 in place of the 5, in other words, we delete 7 and we put it up where the 5 is, the rest of the tree structure will not change. So you may have to think about that. but. Uh, since the, the, since it's the 5 and 7 are right next to each other, uh, you can replace 7 for 5 and not change the tree structure except for having to link any children of 7 around here so that 8 would have to point up to 9 and 9 would have to point to 8. So if you once you do that, you'll have a tree like this where the node we're going to delete, the data and the uh, value are replaced by uh, the, no what the node that was 7. So basically the steps is to find the node to delete, find the successor, which is node 7, remove the successor, we're going to use a special method for that, and that special method, since the normal remove, it finds a node, we already know where it is, so splice out, all it does is splice the links around the successor. And then we copy the node data from the successor uh, and key to the node that we're going to delete. 
So the, basically we're replacing the data inside this object. And the seven object will have, when we're done, we'll have no reference to it. So Python will automatically delete it. So we'll end up with this tree here. So here's the uh, code for delete uh, in the case where you have two children. So if we have two children, then uh, we, we get the find successor. So we find the successor. We splice it out. So it links, uh, it basically deletes it from the tree. And then we set the current node, which we found to delete, uh, to the key and the data from the successor. And that's it.